Hello, welcome at King Raccoon Games. We are playing today our two-player version. This is still a beta test, so numbers might change with our playtesting. Um, I'm Till, sitting over here. Um, over there, I'm playing with Maxine. Hi. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy the game. So uh, I play the um, Dark Seed. And Maxine is playing the Cyber Samurai. Um, yeah, we start by uh, building the uh, game area. So in order of initiative, each of us can take one area tile and place it to the moon. So you start. I pick one. You pick the one. Okay, then I pick the next one. Let's take that. And that. And the last one for you. Okay, now we start like in the regular game with our um, starting setup. So you go first. And we don't have any starting area tiles in the two-player version, so we only have our starting setup and can place them directly in our home zone. I want to start over here. Do I want to start over here? Yes, I want to start over here. And all my guys go inside. So they crowded are a bit home zone, crowded home zone. cramped up here. And I can place, still place my six egg counters um, in adjacent area tiles. Should we say what grants us victory points? Um, score points. Yeah, we can go over that uh, quite fast. Um, but please keep in mind that this is uh, still the beta version of the game and uh, things might change. Um, so I get victory points for um, owning at least eight uh, workers at the end of the game. I get uh, for the alluvial soil here, I get three victory points if I have conquered it at the end of the game. Then I get, if I uh, get into play all of my warriors, which is a total of eight warrior bucks, then this grants some victory points to me. And um, if I have all of my breeders in game at the end of the game, then I get some victory points. And if I control seven territories at the end of the game, then this is a lot of victory points worth. And if I have units in at least 12 area tiles, then I immediately get a couple of victory points. Um, yeah, so I don't need to keep them there till end of game. Okay. Um, I get victory points, three victory points for controlling the center of the moon at the end of the game and every um, mountain area is worth two victory points if I control it at the end of the game. Um, if no opponent unit um, walks into my home zone or flies into my home zone, um, I get three victory points. Um, I get. I also get three victory points at the end of the game if I have seven or more uplinks. Um, and I get two victory points if one of my units reaches the opponent's home zone immediately or if the Shogun reaches the center of the moon. I get two victory points also. Okay, so no mission, no goal, no victory points for um, controlling area tiles, except for in those cases where it's directly written on our agenda. Um, yeah, so then let's start. Like in the regular game, we have specific two-player strategy cards, uh, action cards uh, to pick from. Pick one. Pick from. My English is rubbish today, so Don't apologize sorry. for that. Okay. Let's go on. You have initiative? I have initiative. Okay, I'm gonna... Um, I'm gonna um, buy a unit. 
or an uplink in that case and uh, it's gonna be the Tetsu Orbital Laser because I like that. I love that. <laughs> and um, then I'm gonna move I think. Yes, I am going to move. That's my white face. Okay, great. Um, I like to play an event because one of the open events is create radioactivity somewhere. Okay. And we have still a lot of um, empty area tiles where this could come in handy. Okay. Um, let's put it down here so because this is worth some points for me. And then I'd also like to move, since the wasp can always move an additional tile, it already starts flying around. Uh, they stay... Uh, yeah. Okay, everything moved that I want to move. Blue face. Blue face. I get to move up in initiative order. I'm already first, so that doesn't do me any good. But I can um, use my faction effect, which is to use Tenno if I have it installed, which I do. Um, so I may cause damage with Tetsu. Right. I was afraid of that. Kaboom. But as bye a bye. bug, I get an emergency egg. <laughs> and that is my blue face. Okay, then I can play another event and I just get here some resupply. So I may buy a unit worth one. Let's hatch right. a breeder from this egg here. Um, I should probably say that with this card you cannot use your green face. Oh, that's ugly. Right. Well, <laughs> I have to live with that. Okay, but I can switch. No, I don't want to switch initiative. Okay. But I can use my faction effect, which means I can still move everything around the way I want it. So they advance. No, this does not advance. Mm -hmm. They advance over here, over there. Yeah, one stays, one's left behind. They move over here. And then I think I also move away with them. And then, yeah. Okay, everything moved. And then I can throw some eggs. Mm -hmm because I don't need my units flying this turn. So that one throws an egg over here and those three throw eggs over here. Oh, one of those throws an egg over here. That's also fine. Okay, then I'm done with my blue face. And you are done with, you have your green face. No, well, my green face is still um, also the Amaterasu AI that I can't place a drone adjacent to my home zone, which I... So you get new units. Do. I do get new units. And well, I can't play my green face at all. No, no, and that was my green face. What a bummer. <laughs> at least the Oni attack would have been nice. What? Okay. Uh, no. Oh, whoa, well, no. I thought you just can't. Um, I, I skipped my whole green face, right? Yes. You okay, your whole green okay face. then we are done with green. That was Sweet. fast. Let's go to red. Okay, I move, um, and I move, over here, how much do I need here, um, oh, 
over here and that was my movement <coughs> and then I am going to attack once here because I want that yeah easy and um, my egg then doesn't I fight back going to attack the Oni here which has 20 conquering points, 20 damage points, so... I want to annihilate him. Alright, that should be easy. So then, I have to um, select the contra. Yes, I'm just not quite sure which one I want to use. Right now, okay. That one. Okay, counter strike, da, da, da. well, you are way too efficient. I don't have any suitable contras here, so that one just dies. Good night. Bad. Okay, then that's it, or you have only two attacks? That's it. Yep. Okay, I will also only have two attacks, but I can fly before. I uh, can move everything two tiles. <gasps> Let's. That one over here only. That one wanders out here. Um, then. Those two move over here and they can support by that. Since that one can fly and move one additional tile, it can easily pass over there. That one moves two. And I think, oh, though, those should move over here for having an easier target. Okay, then I can make two attacks and I'm cowardly buck, so I only attack where I have no resistance at all. Mm -hmm. So I conquer this area tile and I conquer this area tile. And I don't play, need to play a combat card uh, because of that, because there is no resistance, no one can select any counters and then it would just be a formalism. So first turn done. Mm -hmm. Let's select new action cards. I've chosen already one that I like quite a lot. Oh, we need to put a new yes. event because there always need to be two open events. So currently we have Mark 1 territory as Tsukuyumi and um, remove one impassable terrain. Okay. Okay, you still have initiative, so go on with white. Um, yes, I want to install another uplink. That's and not it's nice. Going to be Canada. Oh, I see. And then um, I can't. Can I just use Tetsu somewhere as a battle action? You can use it regularly during the red phase if you want, yes. So if I pick a battle action now, I can nuke you this can, one? Well, as can part of a battle it? action, you can increase the damage with um, the target lock combat card. But you don't have units there, Yes. so you can't declare an attack there. Hmm. And uh, yeah, so I'm pretty sure I'm able to reach your home zone. <laughs> I could have done it already last turn, I just realized. Yes, you could. I saw that. Okay. So, okay, well then maybe I am going to move. If that is so. And I am going to move. Yeah, mostly. So already you have one goal achieved by getting the Shogun to the center moon area tile. Yes. So and that I is done. To move this guy here. And what else? What else? 
else? What else? No, they'll stay there. I think that's it. Okay, then <laughs> I definitely oh, I don't need to take movement. I can still move in the blue phase because I am the dark seed. Mm -hmm. uh, so what I really would want, would like to do is cause some trouble, but I'm not sure. Okay, make it easy. Um, I don't want you to play this event, so I again take the event card and mark her territory as Sukuyumi territory. Okay. So you get that now directly in front of your home zone. And since you blocked me from recruiting new units last turn, <laughs> um, I hatch a warrior out of this egg. And then this, oh. this is my white face. So let's go on so to... So my blue face is my... You didn't move. I did not move, yes. Interesting. Because you can use Kaneda in the blue face only once. And I can move during the blue face so I can still reach your home zone. This dude or this dude? Yep. I see. Well, and then I'm still gonna use. No, I'm not gonna use Kaneda, I'm gonna use Tetsu and I am going to. Burn something. Yes. Um, what's the five victory points for? Is the five victory points for conquering seven area tiles. You can try to keep down my workers because I need eight for Warrior two victory warriors. points. Or the warriors, but they should be protected because they can always soak up five damage with a worker and then tank the rest of the five damage with the warrior without him dying. Oh, right, I don't choose for Tetsu. Um, well, so. this guy dies. Back to the egg state. <laughs> you just evolved. You just had a happy life for five minutes. And that's my blue face. That's your blue face, okay. Um, during my blue face, I can play one more event, and I like Impassable Terrain because you hate it. So, where Watch do I want to I keep care. you out? I think I want an Impassable Terrain over here. Okay. Then I can change initiative. Do I want that? I don't think I want that. Okay, then I stay with my initiative, then I can use my faction effect and that is out of the three options I have. I choose movement for sure. So okay. that one moves over here and denies you your victory conditions. Okay. Then they move over here. but I need to... No, I don't want. I don't want those to move. Only that one moves and then that one... No, that one can fly. I hate it. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay, no, no, it should be fine. It should be fine. They move over there. Um, how much movement do you have in the red phase? Two. Two area tiles. Oh, this is not good. Then they move backwards to be a bit more protected from your strike force. Um, the rest shouldn't bother that much. Um, I'm currently only in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need to spread to four more area tiles. You to need get to control my... them? No, I just have to have units in 12 area tiles for my one time three victory points. Mm -hmm. So movement is done. Second thing is I can throw some eggs. I only need to throw... Let's make everything flying this round. Maybe that's a bit better. Okay. Uh, then I don't need to throw some eggs. Um, yeah, then that's my blue face. Up to your green face. Um, I buy uplinks. Um... I buy Bushido and the rocket attack and 
I am now out of little dice, which is bad because I want to install another uplink. Because I need another uplink. And I want. Hmm, you're going very uplink heavy. No, I'm going to place another unit. And I am going to place it. Yeah. Did you already place your free Amaterasu drone? I did not. I am going to place it... Here. Okay. Then you can place your two Onis. I place two Onis here. Oh no. This is not really acceptable. Well. Well, but there. There is always a workaround for problems like that. Okay. I and just don't like the workaround too much either. Well, I need to figure something out. Okay, first green face buying new units. So out of one egg on worker hatches, that worker gets upgraded to a warrior. These are two symbols, and then a worker hatches out of the second egg. Then the worker you just uh, killed. That's a B. The worker just hatches there, so four symbols used. Um, then, 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 then I can hatch a worker here for the fifth symbol, for the sixth, that one matures to a warrior. And then for the seventh symbol, I have a worker out of that egg. Then I'm all out of workers. This is nice. Then, um, where can I? I spawn another worker, uh, an, a bee, a wasp here with my breeder. So then I have used all my five bonus symbols from the three breeders and the planter and the three from my card. So then I too get to place two onis and I will place them over here. Say hello to those nice colleagues. Okay. okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, no, no. yeah, eight. Mm -hmm. I can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, this is on home zone, so it doesn't count. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more areas I need to move in. That should be doable. Okay, then you this is how many victory points? Three. Okay. Then I'm done with my green face, up to your red one. Okay, my red face. I get to move. Move it, move it. Um, I get to move too, actually. So I am just going to fly past you. And reach my home zone. And that grants me two victory points. Yay. And what else am I going to move? Hmm, I think that's it, and that's then it. I am going to um, noise. use Tetsu again, and I am going to look well, which Which worker has, um, to, has to bite the dust again? <laughs> This one. Bam! Back to X state. And then I am placing the rocket attack marker. And I am going to place it... And I am placing Kneva. I am placing that here. And then I have two battle actions. And I want to um, annihilate this one, I think. Maybe. Yeah, I think that should be. Um, a safe call. I 
enough. Destruction okay, so I can counter attack with two less damage and no one survives. So again, okay. you are way too efficient. <laughs> My poor worker, they have done nothing to you. Well, next to nothing. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Again, in he, uh, annihilation, yeah. That worker is, is way too weak, Hi. but I get an egg for it. <laughs> he will come back and say hello. And that was my red face. <clears throat> Your red face, up to my red face. I have three attacks and I can move once one area tile. I want to I want to get some tiles definitely. So I can conquer too easily. I want to to hmm, I can do that actually is a nice idea, I just got. Okay. Let's move to area tiles means I can move over here and that one stays where it is. That one can't move over there. I can fly this turn so that one can zap over here and that one can move over here. They advance a bit. Those two stay behind, that one moves along with it. And then I declare my attacks. So first fight without resistance here, conquer this area tile, fight without resistance here, conquer that area tile. And the third attack, well, there is still an area tile here where I can conquer without any resistance. So three attacks, done, red face, done. Okay, how uh, many rounds are we playing? We play four rounds okay. as a regular game, so half of the game is already done. I have one, two, three, four, five area tiles conquered. So I need two more and keep them till the end of the game to get victory points from that. So, selecting new action cards. I did. You did already? I did. You are ahead of me. And I'm making use of those dice. Do I want you to do that? Yeah, I think I want to do that. That's nice. Then these are your cards. Okay. White face. White face. Um, I buy a unit, I install an uplink. And As I'm usual. Going to install the samurai uplink, which makes it seven. Woohoo! And then I am going to attack. Okay. Here. Here? Oh nice, then I can select the counter if I can select a reasonable one <laughs> against your bloody efficient cyber samurais. Hey, you can select two counters because they are also Onis. Yes. Even more fun. And they are not I that... I cause damage. I cause 30, 45 damage. No, more. Yeah, four. 20 with the drones, 20 with the Cyber Samurai 2.1. 55 damage. 55 damage. So that's enough for everybody. There's enough damage for everybody. There's enough damage for everybody. That's nice. Counter Strike. Also, I'm them. using Tetsu too, just because I can. Yeah, just because you can. So it's 65. 65. Okay. Not too bad. Um, So I select Counter Strike with the Onis, so they do half damage for 20. Mm -hmm. 
and I select um, damaged earth to get with for my uh, dark seed counter mm -hmm. to get an unstable counter in that area tile. Mm -hmm. Then, yeah, both you and everybody dies. Well, everybody from us dies. <laughs> my worker gets back to the X state <laughs> as usual. The Onis are dead, but you still have to distribute 20 damage points. Damage points. From the Onis. And you get that card back. Mm -hmm. So most likely one Cyber Samurai and one Drone. And then I still have five left. Yeah, and the, the, those you can tank with another okay. Cyber Samurai because they have 10 hit points. Okay, that was your white face. That was my white face. <laughs> Just to annoy you, I use a resupply symbol to hatch the worker back out from this yes. egg. And uh, then, then no, no juicy events here that I really need to take. Um, yeah, I think I take then the, also the attack. Um, symbol, the combat action, and I play also Annihilation on this area tile here. Okay. So you can select the counter for the, from the only. small Oni. I'm going to pick four. Four? I need to get rid of uh, two own units, so Worker and Conqueror dies. But I get mm. two X and that Oni is killed. Okay, but I'm free here. Mm -hmm. Then I'm done with white, we go to your blue. Um, I'm not going to move up in initiative, but I am going to use Tetsu. Okay, no way. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hi. doesn't really matter. And that's my blue face. That's your blue face. Well, I again don't want to increase my initiative. I may remove one marker from the area, even um, territory markers, so you lose this area tile. Then I can use my faction effect again, so I want... Do I want to move? Do I want to move? Yeah, most likely I want to move. So let's move over here and let's move over here and since the wasp can move two spaces it moves over here and those move up over here, that one moves over over here. And they how much movement do you have in the red face? One. Okay, then it's safe to go out here again. And oh, that's annoying. Okay, it's annoying, but it is the way it is. That's my movement faction, my faction specific movement. Then do I want to throw some X? No, I'm happy with that, so I make everything flying for this turn. And then I'm done with blue, so we go to your green. Okay, I get to buy a unit and I am going to buy this cybergation. And I am going to place it here and I am going to buy this attack drone. And I am going to place it here. And then I get to conquer a territory with the Oni. And I may move them beforehand, yeah. which I'm going to do. I'm going to. Well, you. Uh, move here. Yeah, this is still a neutral uh, area tile. And now the only wanted. Hmm. 
I would say where there is one, there are also some others. So I place a new big fat only back to this area tight here. Okay, that was And of course it's now only territory. In addition to that it's radioactive and that I have a couple of eggs there. Mm -hmm. And my worker still is tourist of the year. Uh, your that was my green face. Your green face, perfect. My green face. Um, I have two supply from the card, five for my units, so I will buy two warriors and seven workers. So seven I, workers. Uh, three workers. Three, work, <laughs> three workers. Two warriors. Uh, seven symbols in total. So one worker, one warrior over here. Um, hmm, I might actually do something interesting. Mm -hmm. um, then I buy... Because I have a breeder here, I can always place units there. Oh no, I can't because we have a rocket attack there. And the rocket attack suppresses my special rules. Then a warrior hatches from that egg. And that also means I can't use that additional reinforcement symbol. So I have only six, so I can only place one more worker. And I'd like to place that worker somewhere nice. Let's place it over here. Okay, these have been my reinforcements. Then I can also make an Oni attack. Okay, I have to move them in an area tile where that is not already an Oni territory. Um, that that would be a legal move. Those can't reach neutral territory. Those here also can't reach neutral territory because there's an impassable. Mm -hmm. And home zones don't count as area tiles, mm -hmm. which can be conquered. So only that option or that option would be viable. And I think I take that one. So get I attack myself here. Luckily, the only doesn't have enough uh, conquering points to take the area tile away from me um, but I can use retreat as a counter and with that I get to move the unit over here okay. the rest of the units stay where they are they like that place um, yeah so that was my green face up to your red one mm -hmm. Which nefarious plans do you have in your mind? Lots and lots of fun plans. I move. Okay. It. Movement. And then I have three battle actions. Um, I am going to cause damage. Where? Here first. What? My little bee. It's well, loss, loss well again, as usual, my weak units can't really fight back, and but they lay an egg. I'm going to do that here. Damn. This is starting. No, not an egg. <coughs> I get an egg only. And then I am also going to do that. That anointed tool laser really restricts how I can move my units mm -hmm. to minimize damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am also going to attack. Where am I going to attack? 
Next round is the last round, right? Yes. How many territories do you have? One, two, three, four, five. How currently. many do you need? Seven at the end of the game. I'm going to conquer here. Ah, too bad. Okay. Well, you get your annihilation <laughs> back. Then we get to my red face. I can move everything to and have two attack actions. Uh, so then they move out of here. So I don't want to be bothered by the rocket attack again. Um, then they are already. Oh, right. I forgot all my red extra stuff. Oh, you forgot your red extra stuff. I can still okay. use Tetsu and then. place Kaneda and the rocks attack. Okay, then you can do that still. Okay, I am Not going to... Ooh, this one. And another egg. And I am going to put my rocket attack here. And I'm going to keep Kaneda there. Okay. Okay, good. Sorry. Since everything can fly, that makes it a bit easier. Then I move only the worker over here. Um, I move one, two, one, two. Since I can fly, no real trouble. Oh yeah, that pesky <laughs> rocket attack shuts Wait, down my what? wings. <laughs> Okay, then simply they move over here and they move to that spot. So nearly same result. Fair enough. Nearly same result. Um, then I definitely need to move over here to make things work out <laughs> in the end. And then I can make my two attacks. I conquer this area tile and I conquer this area tile here. Done with my red face. Um, going to select the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Still not units in twelve area tiles. You keep on decimating me too much. Okay, so that was the red face? That was the red face. Oh, no. Let's go with the last round. Let's go with it. You still have initiative. And I think I really want you to keep it. White face. Let's go on. I'm going to move. Sounds fair. And by unit, I think. I am going to buy this one. Maybe, or maybe not. Am I going to buy a unit? Yes, I'm going to buy. And you just want to slaughter my worker again. I really, really do. I want to... You're not nice to visitors. No, no, I'm really hostile. Um, then I want to move, right? I want to move, I want to move. I want to move. Mm. Where do I want to move? Mm-hmm. 
That was your white face. My last white face. My last white face. I did not move perfectly right. Uh, yeah, it would be futile. It would be stupid to do that now. It would be stupid to do that now. So, well, I can do that always. I hatch a new unit from that egg, gets a new worker, and then I make a battle action and conquer this area tile without any resistance. Two symbols well used. Your blue face does look My quite empty. Face. I am going to orbital laser something. Again. Again. <laughs> okay, where where do you burn something down to an egg? Orbital laser. Here. Here, okay, then first five damage are soaked up by the walker worker. And then the warrior tanks the rest of the five. Mm -hmm. The rest of the ten damage. And that was my blue face. That was your blue face. I could now change initiative, but I would be stupid to do so. Oh. I really need to be the last one who conquers area tiles this turn. Um, I don't think I need eggs, so I won't throw any eggs. So I can move and make everything flying. Um, I can move and I should really move in a way that I cover 12 area tiles so that I have that those three victory points in the pocket. So they move over here. This is one more area tile, or one area tile. They move over here. Those move Over here, yeah, well, that one is sufficient. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I get you get that right away. That right away. Um, then I can make everything flying, as I already said. Everything is flying, so I'm happy. I'm not too happy. I hate that rocket attack, so I move. No, I don't move. Uh, everything is fine. I'm done with blue. Let's go to green. I am going to place this guy here and this guy here. And I am going to place... This guy here and And this guy here. I should take it. Well, yeah, I don't think that bothers me too much. Okay, my green face. I usually can buy three units. The rocket attack marker doesn't block me from any supply points of my 
breeding unit, so I get a total of eight production units. So I can buy three warriors and two workers. Do I want to do it that way? Yes, I think I do want to do it that way. <laughs> then let's do the hatching stuff. Um, I put a warrior in here. I put a warrior in here. I do want um, to hatch a warrior over here, to hatch a worker over here, and the last worker origins over here. That's a nice spot. Is it? No, it's not. <laughs> um, that one is a nice spot. No, it's also. Oh. You made it really difficult for me to have safe zones to spawn units. Mm -hmm. So I will place it over here next to the breeder. Um, good. These are my new units. Then I can move Onis from two area tiles and declare attacks with them. So I can make two attacks. And this here, luckily, is a Dark Sea territory that those Onis all eagerly want to conquer back. So that one is again free. And the second territory that they are able to reach, let's move that one over here. So one conquering attack here where nothing really interesting happens because I still have more conquering points. But, but we both have the option to, to, to select the counter. Well, I will again select where there's one, there's another one, and I place a medium only on the center of the moon. And you place a there, okay. Doesn't really matter because I'm the swarm. And here's my second attack, only I may select a counter here. And yeah, where there is one, there is another one, and this is now back. Only territory. I don't need to place a conquering te a territory marker here because it's the moon. It's already it printed sucks. on it. Yep, that sucks for you. I hope sincerely so. <laughs> okay, that was my green face up to your red one. Do your worst. I have four better actions. That's way too much. And I am going to... Wait. But you have no movement if I can no, see that, right? No movement, but I could have chosen two counters. Would that have been worth it? Probably, yes, but I messed up. Um, I am going to attack places. I am going to conquer this because I want it. Okay. First things first. Then I select retreat and move over here. And then I am going to tag some stuff. Is there any way I can get over there? I don't think so. That was really silly. Okay, then I am going to attack. Where? Here? Oh, that's too bad. Well, uh, damn it, I don't have my faction specific counter against you. Counter strike doesn't really bother you, and I won't have any surviving units. That's bad. So you rob me <laughs> from my have all warriors in game at the end of the game. And all breeders. Well, and okay. all breeders, indeed. Okay. And so that's four victory points already gone. Then how many territories do you need and how many do you have? One, two, I need three, four, seven. Five, 
six. And I have two attacks, so I can go up to. If you can remove two areas from me, if you can hmm. take away. Okay, I'm gonna take away this because it's easy. And yeah, that's nothing easy. to stop me. That's your third attack. You should probably do that, and then your fourth and last I attack. I cannot conquer the moon, which really bothers me. A ton. <laughs> yes, I did and something right. Um, but I am going to going to going to. This is mine. This I can't conquer. This is already yours. Hmm. Where can you conquer exactly? Oh, I see multiple spots where I can conquer areas. Yes, yes, I see, I see, and you can still move, so... Yep, one area tile. Well, then I am going to attack. And you still can shoot your Tetsu laser. Okay, where? Here. Here. You think? I think you use your Tetsu. Obviously. Obviously. I want to fry some bugs. You want to? Yeah, that's not nice. But I have my faction-specific counter on it, I do. and you already killed a warrior and a breeder, so I won't get victory points for those either way. So I, sac I use my faction-specific counter to sacrifice those two. And then I can move with that over here. No, 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 no. Not over there. Not over there. I move over here. Important distinction. Okay. How many workers do you have? Um, I sh have only one in reserve, so I should have nine on the board. So and one, you only two, need three. Eight. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. I can still lose you one. You should have just annihilated here, I guess. Well, I still have the Tetsu though. You I'm still have the Tetsu. To... You can still fry one war worker, but then I'm still fine. As long as I don't lose another one. <laughs> well, let's find okay. this guy. And I can place the mm. Canada again. Yeah. And the rocket attack. And the rocket attack, this is yours, this is yours. Are you flying this round? Yes, I'm flying this turn. Mm -hmm. But I still can't ignore your um, Canada with flying. I don't see any reasonable spot for you for the last turn for the Canada and the rocket. Oh, well, maybe. No, not really. Okay. I will get that area tile either way. And that way. Okay. <laughs> okay. But I don't want you to. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. Great. <laughs> so I can move and take two area tiles. Currently I have one, two, three, four. Five. So I need to make to conquer with each attack one area tile. That one is easy, but I can't allow my worker to die here. So I need to move that one over here. And since that one can fly, he moves over here. Can you though? With the rocket attack there? Yeah, because you take away my ability only when I enter that area tile. Mm. And then I need to conquer a second area tile. Where so is? So I put it here. That would have been better. Well, then I would have moved in. No, Canada is still there. Yeah, Canada is still there. 
You are right. You are completely right. Um, well, don't make it too complicated. They just move over here. I just need to conquer an area tile. This is not big math now anymore. I have two attacks. Well, I will play a regular conquering attack over here. I have more than enough conquering points to take that area tile away from the small breed. And I don't care if you kill me a worker in return. I am going to kill someone because I can. Yeah, okay, then the <laughs> warrior dies. I don't care about that one anymore. Um, <laughs> That's pretty heartless. <laughs> I'm, I'm an insect. Do I even have a heart? And then I declare my special swarming attack over here, so the conquering points of all units around that area tile also count. So I have 5 from here, 25 from over here, 30 total, 45 total, 50 total. So this is definitely my area tile. But you can select the counter for the Oni two and. Counter actually, because I have the Bushido. Okay, then you can select two for your drone and one for the Oni. Yes. Hmm. 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 Okay. Um, the only cause is... That's your last action, right? That's my absolutely last action, also, yes. Really even the last action of the game. It doesn't even matter that I'm just gonna retreat legally to your home zone. Just just because I want to be there, because I want to be a pain. <laughs> and, you want uh, to the hunt? The only wants to kill okay, yeah. your breeder. Because I already okay. <laughs> wasted that victory conditions. Okay, then game is over. Mm -hmm. uh, fourth turn is played. Um, I have my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven area tiles. I don't have all my breeders. I don't have all my warriors. I have one alluvial soil and I have my eight workers. So I have two, five, 10, 13 victory points. I don't even think I could have 13 victory points if I had all of them. I do not own the moon, but I own the mountain. The mountain. My home zone was desacred. I do own seven or more uplinks. And those two I already have here, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine to thirteen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Close game. So yeah, even mm. <laughs> even even if you would have made that last thing so to block me here from flying, you then I would have I, I would have lost yeah, the warrior. Um, then I would have been at eleven victory points. Okay, good game. Thank you very much. I hope you also enjoyed this game and you got a bit of an impression how the two-player uh, game version of Tsukuyumi works. Yeah, let's see. Let's do the next test. Bye! <laughs>